We were informed that um, the OPP had recovered the body and um, they notified, they along with the principal, Monday Gala, notified the parents. So they then notified the kids. I mean, when you go inside, you know, teachers, uh, school administrators, there were people that knew him. And, you know, schools are like communities, right? Schools are families. And when you lose somebody, everybody feels it. I'm Pam Seidel at C.W. Jeffries Collegiate at Finch and Sentinel in North York, where staff and students are reeling and very emotional after a 15-year-old student who went missing during a field trip has been found dead a short time ago. The boy has been identified by the school's trustee as 15-year-old Jeremiah Perry. There were 33 kids and six adults who went on a leadership trip to a remote part of Algonquin Park. They were from C.W. Jeffries and Westview Collegiate. The kids set out to the park on Sunday morning and had traveled to Big Trout Lake. The OPP says it got a call for a missing swimmer there at about 8 o'clock last night and announced the recovery of a body less than an hour ago. The TDSB says kids who went on the trip had to pass a rigorous swimming test first. The swim test was given in advance. You need to pass the swim test in order to go on this trip. Um, and it's all done under OFIA guidelines. So this test was done for the kids that participated. It was done here. And there's water safety aspect. There's laps. Uh, there's underwater, some level of underwater endurance. Um, what I understand is that of the six adults, three had their uh, life-saving certification. Now, the swimming test requires students to be able to tread water for at least one minute and to be able to swim for 50 meters. The guidelines for swimming activities also require students to swim with a partner, a head count to be conducted at regular intervals, and swimming is prohibited after sunset. Of course, this is the worst possible outcome to the story that we've been following all day. The parents were notified about this missing boy in the middle of the night, including the parents of Jeremiah, who promptly went up to Algonquin Park, where their other son was also participating in this trip. So there's the process of getting the kids back, they were supposed to stay until Friday, but of course it has been cut short because of this tragedy. They are on their way back from out from within the interior of the park, but they're being flown out uh, by float plane and they can only take two or three at a time. So at last count, there were only 11 who had reached the outskirts of the park uh, where the buses are waiting. But the hope is that all of the kids will be brought home and back to their families tonight.